Hello everybody, Izumi here, and today let's do Grand Mage Battle 8 Star Multi Solo. So first up I'm using um, Halloween Yord. Alright, second is going to be Sangrid. And third is going to be regular OG Yord. And... Fourth is going to be Swath. And last but not least is Bragi. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so the Grand Mage Battle, or aka Morphia is a jerk all right so really we'll start at the beginning so Galvig what Galvig does is a really just hits with water and petrifies to the nearest row and petrifies going to affect humans theory and geotun and beast and her auto skill will also do the aqua aqua field on seven and high aqua field on eight and also does a vortex to um, humans, Therians, Yotun, and Beast for three turns. So keep that in mind. Um, most effective skill is going, um, or element is going to be Earth. That's pretty much, um, I think all you're going to want to use is Earth. So um, now let's talk about Morphia. So his action skill does recovery shield. For two turns to self and two allies with the lowest HP. So considering that there it's himself and two allies, it's going to be all three every time. Um, and does Frenzy and Faint and Decree for two turns to all allies. So yep, they're going to not be able to hit him. And they're going to hit you harder for two turns. And Decree does 60% water magic attack damage and 10% um, magic attack and magic defense debuff down for one turn to the nearest enemy. So in my case, it's going to be Halloween Yord. And on Faint, he restores more health to himself. More HP. So, yeah, Morphe is going to be the barrier to how, if you can do this fight, like multi-solo or not. I can do it really easy just solo. And it's not so bad, but definitely multi-solo Morphe is the one holding you back. And on also what Morphia does on 7-star and 8-star, he does corrupt. So corrupt to all races, so it doesn't matter. And Magus Ipsum does... Um, 180% water magic attack damage and corrupt for three turns to the new two nearest enemies. Also 180% water magic attack damage and slow and fear for three turns to the two forest enemies. Corrupt and slow and fear affect humans and Yotan. So probably not a good idea to use humans in this fight. They're going to get hit by a lot of stuff. Um, our auto skill does... Defense up for one turn, Stone Skin up for one turn to Galvig and Morphia. Also on 8 star does Frenzy to all allies and Water Ring to Galvig and Morphia. So yeah, Water Ring, more more healing to deal with. As you can just see, they just kind of nuked my team down there with probably Corrupt. Yeah, that's what they're hit with, Corrupt. I see the, the hand, the purple hand coming up out of there on, on the icon. Um... So to make it a little bit easier, you can use, if you if you were around back then, the Hachune Vans do bonus damage to Dwarfs. So that'll help to get rid of Morphia a little bit faster. Um, use anything that has a bonus damage to Aesir to get rid of Galvig a little bit faster. Um, some other heroes to use are going to be Wanderer Port, um, the Turtle Girl, Kubira, Keeley, Flora, Fatma... Um, Tiger God works, obviously the nor new Sorceress Rumi, which uh, we might do pulls for that this evening. Um, 
Camille, Gaffion, Osiris, you know, probably Rat God too because um, she has a ring skill. So, and I would also imagine that Voxy isn't too bad either. So we're almost done here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And we can't really see who did how much damage because it's multi-solo, but we can check and see how much I did all together. Alright, so there you go. Thank you for watching.